Hello and welcome. Today I'm super excited to present to you the Views Spicy Chili Oil. This one's slightly different than anything you've ever had because obviously you guys know how I am with my ingredients. I'm to the T that I mess around with it until it's just perfect. So when you guys see one fourth of something, it's because I've already tried half a teaspoon or a full teaspoon and it didn't work out. I'm my own little scientist in the kitchen. You know how it rolls. So I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you guys to show off for your holiday parties, for your work gatherings, or just on your Sunday dinner when you guys learn how to make this spicy red chili oil. So if you're interested to learn how to add a little bit more of a substance and a kick to your family's ingredients, please keep watching. Yes, I'm still smiling. Okay, you guys have me smiling and giddy and I want to thank you all so much for all the lovely messages that you left for me on the 200k celebration video. I'm going through a little bit of heartbreak, but your guys' messages on this channel as well as the sister channel, Las Doñas, uh, have really, um, you know, it got me vibing again. It got me jolly and you guys give me so much purpose in my life. So I want to thank you guys uh, so much for all the love and positive energy you sent to me. So now that I gave you guys that spiel, like I always do, um, I want you guys to think of this chili oil as a condiment, like you would uh, ketchup or mustard or a combo of your favorite sauce. I kind of want you to look at it at that way, so that way you know, oh, I can grab that one. This one does this, you know? So this chili oil, I want you to incorporate into your family in that particular way. So now that I've said that, let's go over the spices. First runner up, first contestant. <laughs> So this is my chili blend along with my bay leaf, okay? And you just wanna grind this really, really fine. And then if you end up getting some chunky ones from the chipotle, that's okay. That's gonna make your chili even better, right? You get that little chunk of spice. And the blends that are in there, is I have a chile uh, de puya. That's what they look like. You guys can see the color and change, but these are all puya chiles. So they go from a really dark, deep reddish black to more maroon colors. And my chile, the arbol's a bit dried up. But that's what they look like. You can crack them in half and take the seeds out or you can do it with the seeds. For this particular recipe, I took the seeds out. I get asked a lot about these. These are the uh, chile piquin. We call them chiltepines. And they're when they're when they're dried so you can pick as much as you'd like here or you can follow uh, my direction on it okay you with me I'm with you and I think this one might be a little bit difficult for some of you uh, to get I'll have cloud look in the Amazon store see if we can find something uh, that can help you with this this is a dehydrated jalapeno which is a chipotle and you're gonna find that it's a little bit it's not as dry as the rest of these chilies that are crispy you see it's a little bit softer and when you grind it, you get little chunks like that because it's still a little bit moist. Mm -hmm. It's pliable too, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. And then for the bay leaves, they're about this size. And if you use too much bay leaf, you know that everything can turn bitter. So mm -hmm. take it easy. So that's our chili blend that we have. Now, you ready for the rest? I'm here. Okay. So what we have here is we have some paprika, preferably smoked paprika. And shout out to my friend Charlene in New Mexico that provided some wonderful extra hot chili. And that's what we have going on here. Triple X hot. Triple X hot. We're going to call it the triple Charlene. Because you hot girl. Happy birthday to you. Shout out to your beautiful family. We love you and we appreciate you. And if you guys can't get a hold of the New Mexico super extra Charlene hot chili, um, go ahead and use some cayenne pepper and I'll leave the recommendation in the description area because it's going to be a slight different adjustment you're going to need. Okay, now that I've gone over the chilies that we're going to use for this uh, chili oil, I'm going to go ahead and start adding it to our bowl and I'll let you guys know what the other spices are. Ready? Ready. All right. So we're gonna add our chili blend that I discussed with you. Paprika. The triple hot Charlene. Oh my goodness, I'm excited for you guys. Ground cumin. Ginger powder. Black and white pepper. And of course, if you don't have, if you have one and you don't have the other, make it comfortable for your home. 
that's what these recipes are about. Lemon pepper is an optional one. If you don't like lemon pepper or that citrus flavor, keep it out, but lemon pepper. Garlic powder. I used to hate lemon pepper until you got me into it. Girl, you make the best lemon pepper wings ever. I've, I've been into lemon pepper since I was like in junior high because of my <laughs> friend. And it wasn't a spice that we had normally in our house, but at her house when she made a lemon pepper spaghetti, I was on it. Yep, you got me into it. Yep, and now we're gonna do Mexican oregano. If you can't get a hold of a Mexican oregano, probably order it online. It's definitely worth, worth every flavor that comes out of it. So just grind it in your hand and pop it in. Onion powder. And of course, if you guys like garlic powder, you can add more, but I don't, I don't know. I think garlic powder can be overly used at times and I like it to be subtle. Mm -hmm. You know how I am. Oh my gosh, I can already smell all the spices. I'm going crazy here. Yay! <laughs> and then we have brown sugar and regular sugar. I have chicken bouillon, the bouillon. But if you guys have a vegetable one or something that you feel comfortable with, go with that one and some salt. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this well. Now that we've blended all of our spices, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up our oil. And before I get started on the oil, I wanna let you guys know, if you guys made fried chicken, if you made something that had the pork in it that has the residue of the oil, those are the oils that are best for this particular recipe. So if you have something you made chicharrones, go ahead and use that oil. If you didn't make chicken or chicharrones, just use regular canola oil, whatever oil you feel comfortable with. But I think olive oil, coconut oil are gonna change the dynamic of this chili oil. So what I'm gonna be using for today, I've made this with chicken oil before, infused chicken oil and infused uh, pork oil from the chicharrones. And today I'm gonna use the uh, oil from the chicharrones that I have left over. So let me go ahead and warm that up and I'll see you guys shortly. But before I do that, this is the spice blender that I use. It's the Mr. Coffee. Um, it grinds really, really fine. I bought a big luxurious one, it didn't work out. This one by far is my favorite one to grind my spices. Now let me go ahead and warm up that oil. <laughs> Come on, big baby, warm up that oil. Yeah, we'll warm up that oil. All right, friends, our oil is hot and popping. Look at, you see that? Ooh, it's speaking to me. It's views on the road hot. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and add our oil into our spice blend, and we're gonna stir it. I'm gonna start with the wooden spoon, and then I'm gonna use the whisk. Get ready, because this is fun. Ooh, you're doing good with your pouring. Smell that. Yeah. Smells divine, friends. This is so spicy that my nose is runny. Let me clean up, guys. <laughs> okay, you're gonna notice with your chili oil that you're gonna get all the spices that come to the bottom. So whenever you're making your treats or anything, make sure you mix it well so that you can get the spices and the oil on your treats. For example, I have these duros, the Mexican little fried snacks. Okay. And you wanna make sure you get the spices on there or else you're not gonna get the flavor. Let's give it a go, go. Finish it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. For me, the spice level of this chili oil is mild. For some of you, it might be extra hot, but I wanted to keep something neutral to wherever. If you need it spicier, I'll give you guys the recommendations in the description how to make it spicier and maintain the flavor that you're gonna get from this, okay? This is very delicious. Look at all that spice. Blend. It's this flavorful. This is our mother's favorite uh, condiment. <laughs> this is something that I've actually been able to please my uh, grandma views with, you guys. 
Oh, my sniffling. Oh, what are you drinking? Um, yerba mate, the guayaki, uh, lemon elation. I love these. Seems okay. like during the end of the year, I tend to get more of these too. Yerba mate is not a joke. <laughs> yeah, if you guys drink this midday, you're not going to be able to sleep. Yeah. So apparently I'm not sleeping. <laughs> All right, friends. That's how you make the Vuce Chili Oil. Let me go ahead and pour it into a wonderful bottle. I recommend you guys recycle any glass bottle that you have, whether it's your um, tomato sauce, your barbecue sauce, which is what this bottle is, and I'm gonna repurpose it and I'm gonna pour my oil in here. So just give me one second. One second. Chopstick. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're doing this up. Get all that spice. What's your favorite way to use chili? I like this with the bolillo buns. I like them on tacos. I like them on uh, fried chicken tenders. Wait, tacos like for the tortilla part? Yeah, the tortilla part. To make it red? Yep, and actually on the top you get a little bit more because you know how I am about flavor. Yes. Just have a really good flavor. So I like it on fried chicken. Yeah, like the Tennessee hot chicken style. Yes. You guys know how much I love that. I love the Asian hot chili oil. Um, but I don't think people are familiar that in Mexico we have a lot of like uh, peanut style oils and things like that, which I've mastered another one that I have. <laughs> I, I, I think I mentioned for you guys when I used to do a uh, mukbang for, mm -hmm. I still do mukbang on the other channel, but um, when I do a uh, mukbang, I'm really good with my sauces. Yes, I love sauces. Yeah. So that's it. This beauty. So whenever you're gonna serve it or anybody's gonna grab it, you can do it this way. And do you keep that in the fridge or in the, um, like with the- uh, Well, it's uh, oil. It's kind of like when you infuse garlic oil, you can oh, keep okay. it out. Um, but for me, I, I tend to keep it out. Okay. I don't refrigerate yeah. this one. So you can put it in that container or, Or you can put it in something like that, which is my uh, Asian chili oil. So I think I finally was able to make it so that I don't have to buy it. Yep. So that's what we got going on. So you can put it in this a little bottle like this, or you can put it in a container like that. Just make sure to be careful because it is hot. Now that I've shown you how to make a delicious chili oil, I'm gonna put it to use because I have some leftover chicharrones. And you guys wonder a lot when you see a lot of clips, it doesn't always have to be birria that soaks your tortilla to make it nice and red and delicious. I'll show you guys right now with this how we're gonna achieve that and also have a delicious quick taco. Currently have my pan on a medium heat. Go ahead and pour some of our delicious oil, just a little bit because it goes a long way, friends. And I want you to be careful in this particular spot because if you cook oil with uh, seasonings too long, it's gonna burn, so be careful. So here you're just warming it up, right? Yep, I'm warming it up. And this is where the party begins, you see that? See, the more chili you add to your blender, the redder it's gonna get. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ari likes that smell. He knows it's good for him. So you just want them to cook fully? 
So that way when we add our chicharrones, you see? Mm -hmm. Got my chicharrones right there. You can put some queso fresco in there. You can put a little bit more of the sauce. Pero por ahorita. There we go. I'm gonna wait for them to cool up, cool off a little bit just because they're super hot and I don't wanna burn myself, but we'll give them a taste in just a moment. Friends, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today and being part of our club. We love to eat where food is and we love to take care of our family, right? Yeah, 200K, we're still rooting for our 300K celebrations. I hope you guys enjoyed this red hot chili oil. Please come back and let me know in the comments. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.